This is the Vendée region, a very charming coastal holiday destination. When I was young, I used to come here on holiday. For the last 1200 years, the local farmers have refined the art of producing salt to preserve food, to make great cheeses, to make great charcuterie. So earlier today, I visited a local salt producer, Jean-Noël Pito. Jean-Noël, uh, how do you produce salt? For salt, um, I need seawater, and then I let run the seawater on my salt marshes. It's a long process uh, for get uh, the good concentration of salt, and I need wind and sun for have evaporation, and then I I will uh, make uh, two kind of salt, uh, a coarse salt that we use for cooking. Another salt is. Uh, fleur de sel. The fleur de sel is uh, very fine, white, used by, by chef because it's a very tasty uh, salt. The most popular local family treat is the brioche vendéenne, and young pâtissier Pierre Boyer's brioche is light and buttery. J'aime beaucoup manger de brioche vendéenne l'après-midi avec les amis euh, autour d'un café, c'est parfait. Pierrick beats together some flour, salt, caster sugar, dry yeast, eggs, orange flour water until it forms a smooth elastic dough. He then incorporates some butter. Donc euh, pour une brioche très importante, on peut utiliser une bonne qualité de beurre, très importante. For a better result, Pierrick scrapes the sticky dough from the sides of the bowl a couple of times. He forms a long piece of dough, covers with a damp towel, and leaves to rise for two hours. He then flattens the dough into a long roll, cuts it into three pieces, and rolls each piece into a long baguette and forms a plait. He recommends to let it proof for a good hour before brushing with beaten egg yolk and sprinkling with sesame seeds. Donc là, je cuis la brioche à 160 degrés pendant 30 minutes. Pierrick brioche is big, light and delicate, and his team of pâtissiers thinks it's even better with more butter and jam. On my search for the best of the region, I was guided to a special vineyard of the Fief Vendéen in brême sur mer run by the family Michon. Antoine, a young member of the family, took me around the winery and gave me a tasting of their best wine that really impressed me. Surprisingly, the wines from Vendée are very good, especially these biodynamic wines from Domaine Saint-Nicolas. They make Pinot Noir and Negrette in red, and in white, they make Chenin Blanc and Chardonnay, and they are excellent with the local seafood. The Vendée region is steeped in history and tradition, and the local farmers have raised ducks and chicken for centuries. And tomorrow we find out why the poultry is one of the most popular in France. <laughs>